Welcome to Perfect Guardian and I'll tell you the difference between wheat and gluten. The difference between wheat and gluten often confuse ordinary consumers as many commercially available food products use the term gluten free and wheat free interchangeably. Wheat and or gluten can cause allergies for a number of peoples around the world. This is important to identify the difference between wheat and gluten and in this video we are going to discuss how wheat differs from gluten. The key difference between gluten and wheat is that wheat is a cereal grain and gluten is a protein that can be found in cereal grains. Now what is wheat? Wheat is one of the major cereal grains in the world and it is the most cultivated and produced cereal in the American region. Thus, Wheat grain is the principal source of food for many parts of the world and wheat flour is mainly used for making bread and other bakery products. Biscuits, cookies, cakes, breakfast cereal, pasta, noodles and processing of alcoholic beverages. Wheat is also used for non-food applications such as biofuel production. Whereas gluten is a protein that can be found in wheat, barley, rye, and many other cereal grains. Gluten plays a significant role in pastry and bread making industry because it contributes elasticity to bread duff, assisting it to rise and keep its shape and frequently provides the end product a chewy texture. Gluten is the composite of gliadin and glutenin and it is storage protein in the endosperm of various cereal grains. Now what's the difference between wheat and gluten in nutshell. First I'll tell you about the definition. Wheat is a cereal grain which is the most important kind grown in temperate countries used to make flour for bread, pasta, pastry etc. Whereas gluten, gluten, sorry, whereas gluten is a protein present in the cereal grains, especially wheat, which is responsible for the elastic texture of the toff. Now what are their characteristics? Wheat is a major cereal grain in the world, whereas gluten is not a cereal grain. Now about the composition. Wheat contains carbohydrate, protein, fiber, fat, minerals and vitamins, whereas gluten only contains protein. It does not contain high carbohydrate, fiber, fat, minerals and vitamins. Now what are the nutritional component? In wheat, it cannot be considered as a nutritional component of gluten, whereas gluten is considered as a nutritional component of wheat. Now what are the sources? Wheat flour or starch is extracted only from wheat grains, but gluten is extracted from wheat, barley, rye, oat and many other cereal grains. Now how do they function? Wheat mainly contribute overall organolactic properties like color, texture, flavor and aroma of bakery products. Wheat starch is mainly used as thickening agent in some processed food such as sauce, ketchup etc. And gluten mainly contributes to the texture of bakery products. It is the key compound that provides elasticity to bread dough and makes bread chewy. Now what are the processing method? Wheat after cultivation is harvested followed by dehusking and milling, milling. Thereby wheat flour is obtained and further refining and treatment are required to obtain wheat starch. Whereas gluten is extracted from wheat, barley or rye flour by kneading the flour followed by acumeriting the gluten into an elastic network also known as tough and finally washing out the starch. I will also tell you about the related diseases. In wheat, some individuals can experience adverse effect after consumption of wheat because of wheat allergy. Wheat is comprised of albumin, globulin, gliadin and gluten proteins. The majority of the allergic reactions are mainly caused by albumin and globulin protein. Similar to other allergic reactions, the wheat allergy is due to the body recognition of wheat proteins as a threatening foreign body and thereby triggers immune system response. 
Symptoms and signs of a wheat allergy include skin irritations, rashes, hives, nasal congestion, and discomfort of digestive tract, etc. A wheat allergy is very common allergy and is one of the eight most common food allergies that occur around the world. Now, gluten. Celiac disease is one of the most common chronic out autoimmune digestive syndromes that results in inflammation of a small intestine which when they consume gluten contains foods including wheat. Signs and symptoms of celiac disease include abdominal blotting, diarrhea and constipation. This disease can also cause iron deficiency, anemia, calcium deficiency, osteoporosis, weight loss, fatigue and malnutrition. The recommended treatment for celiac disease is to consume a gluten-free diet. A gluten-free food product does not contain gluten protein, which is originated from the grains, wheat, ghee, and barley. Now, main raw material of bakery industry. Wheat flour is the main raw material of the bakery industry, whereas gluten cannot be considered as a raw material of bakery industry because gluten is already present in the wheat. But in some situations, artificial gluten is added as a raw material. For example, when bakery products prepare using rice flour, gluten is added because true gluten is not present in rice flour. Now, what are the various variations of consumer products and utilization? Wheat is the key ingredient in bread and other bakery products. Biscuits, cookies, cakes, breakfast cereal, pasta noodles. It has some non-food applications including biofuel production, whereas gluten also contains wheat, barley or rye flour containing products such as the bakery products, biscuits, cookies, cakes, breakfast, cereal, pasta, noodles, etc. It is also present in beer, soya sauce, ice cream and ketchup. In addition, it is also used in cosmetics, hair care products and some dermatological treatments. The protein content of some packed foods may also be enriched by the addition of gluten. In conclusion, wheat is a cereal grain whereas gluten is the adhesive protein that is originated in the wheat and other cereal grains. So thank you. Please subscribe to my channel Perfect Guardian and give your comments.